gypsies welcome back to my channel so I'm here at the so that means it must be Sunday right we are going to be doing a cooking video and we're both doing the same type of recipe only mine's going to be a keto recipe and hers is going to be regular so I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing and show you the ingredients and then she's gonna tell you what she's doing and show you the ingredients but we're going to do both of them separately but in the same video that way we won't confuse anyone. So mine is a three ingredient chocolate keto fudge, super easy. So um, all I need is half a cup of coconut oil, which is really a big ingredient in any kind of keto candy, I always find. A half a cup of chocolate chips that are stevia sweetened, and that is pretty much Lily's chocolate chips. And then a half a cup of cashew butter which I did not have, have, I had to get this at the store today. This is creamy cashew butter. I've never tried it, but I love cashews. So it's gotta be good, I would say. And it is the Sam's Choice brand. And it was still like $4.97, and these two were about $4.97, which I already have these. But anyway, that's gonna be my recipe, and now she can tell you hers. And I am making white chocolate caramel pecan fudge. I will need three cups of white chocolate chips. Um, I need 14 ounces of sweet and condensed milk. And four tablespoons of butter. It, is, it doesn't say if it's salted or un, but we're using unsalted butter. And we need a half a teaspoon of vanilla and a cup of chopped pecans. And a half a cup of Room temperature caramel sauce. Um, oh. I guess you can make your own, but we got the this one. Just an ice cream. So we can know. drink that right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so is that all for yours? And then we have these pans that we just got at the Dollar Tree. I did get two of them. So we're going to take these papers out and get these washed up. And we are going to go ahead and get hers set up to video. Um, and then I'll do mine last. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I am going to, it says combine the chocolate chips, sweet condensed milk, and the butter in a bowl and microwave, but guess who don't have a microwave? Um, so we're just going to do this double boiler type thing um, and do it that way. So three cups of white chocolate chips. Spoons of butter and start stirring. Start stirring. <clears throat> Do you want to pause this? Uh, yeah, we work on it. We'll pause it and we'll be right back as soon as everything gets nice and mixed together. It's almost there, guys. I don't think we've ever used a double boiler. I don't know. We might have. I feel like 
did we have, like, in our baking and endeavors? Yeah. So I feel like we have yeah. at your house. In our baking endeavors? Yeah. Yeah. I just can't remember. Mmm, it looks good. It looks really tasty. This butter is taking a little bit to melt. It could take a while to melt. Yeah. I think this is gonna be really good. It's super fast. Super easy. Especially if you have a microwave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where did you put one? But uh, <laughs> I don't know. I would it in. I mean, I don't really use a microwave that much. I don't either. Okay, the truth. Every now and then. I guess you could have a whole microwave stand somewhere mm -hmm. if you actually ever really wanted one, but that's, you would pretty much have to have a microwave stand, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, unless you just have, like, didn't know. keep this out and put a small one right yeah. there. I mean, you could keep this on top of the fridge even yeah. if you ever wanted one. So it says when it all gets melted to add the vanilla and the pecans. And the pecans. Pecan. Do you call it pecan or pecan? Or pecan? Ew. Pecan? Pecan. 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 pecan or pecan or pecan. <laughs> I think I call it pecan. Pecans? Mm -hmm. Pecan. Yeah. It's sort of like the caramel or caramel. Ugh. Which one? Caramel or caramel? Caramel. I hate caramel. that other one. She's using some caramel sauce. Gross. <laughs> oh man, this looks so good. It does. I think that's going to be the bomb fudge right there. Yeah. The bomb.com. Butter go. Here it is. Oh, he's almost melted, isn't he? Yeah. I think by the time you get everything mixed up, he'll be gone. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hand you the pecans, the pecans. All right, so that little bag is a cup and that's all we need in. All right, so in go, does it say remove from heat? Well, you it? know, it's out of the microwave. Oh, so I guess, yeah. yeah, what do you think? Yeah. All right, we're gonna remove it from the heat and we'll reposition the camera. Where are you gonna put it, right here? Oh, please. Put it right there. Let me reposition the camera. Which, hold on, guys. All right. Okay, the camera's sitting in the sink. It smells so good. All right, I will pour your vanilla for you. There goes the nuts. Oh, she poured it all right, all on the floor. Holy, I will wipe it up. Holy cow. I promise. OMG. Oh, shoot. Oh, Lordy, she Lordy. She poured it all right. All right, where are the paper towels? Right here. Oh. Oh. Give me one of the bad boys. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. That's really good. Did you already add the vanilla? Yes. Okay. I added. I cleaned it up, guys. All right. She she makes mess every time she comes down here. I do. I'm a mess maker. <laughs> All right. Hey. So now what? Let me get my phone. I think we have to pour it in this pan. Oh, let's see. Spread with a spatula to approximately one inch thickness. Drizzle with the caramel, caramel sauce. Yeah, yeah. And lightly swirl it into the fudge. Okay, guys. All right. Here is her pan. My bowl's hot. Oh, that bowl's hot. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Oh, that bowl's hot. Oh, maybe, should we get something? No, go ahead. All right, we're putting it in the pot. I mean, in the pan. Do you need to put it down? No. Nope. All right. Hopefully you can see this, guys. I'm trying to get it all here. No bold looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I bet it'd be awesome. 
I'm sure you'll have a little bit to try out. Yeah. Is it still hot? Yeah. All right, I believe we're good. All right. All right. Ooh, that's probably about an inch thickness, to tell you the truth. That looks so good. Yay. Donut. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Now, do you let it cool before you put the caramel? Nope. Okay. This is a hot tub. Put this in that bowl so you can look at it. I started to bust out in song right there. I didn't. Oh, this is a good consistency too. Okay, it is. So, half cup. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. All right. All right. So, you're going to pour it on and then drizzle it? OMG. No. Oh, that looks fabulous, guys. Wow. So I guess taking a case knife and just kind of swirling it through. Oh, can you see good enough, guys? Let's see. We want to make sure they got a good, a good view. Let's try to put down just a tad there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh Hi. goodness. Oh, that looks good. That was super easy too. That was so easy. Okay, and there you have it. So what we're gonna do is set that in the freezer, baby. And then we're going to do, I'm going to, we're going to do my video, and then we are going to do our crafting video. That is so good. So it's chill until ready to serve. I mean, you think we should put it in the freezer or fridge? Freezer. A freezer. Freezer. Oh, man, that's good. Okay. I bet that is. Ta-da. Okay, go going in the freezer, guys. Let's see. Should I follow her to the freezer? Can you see her? Can they see you? <laughs> okay. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get mine ready. Be right back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead. We got the double boiler ready to go. And what are those? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and measure one half a cup of the Lily's chocolate chips. These are the milk chocolate ones. I actually got these in case I had a sugar craving. And I've had them a couple times, like 13 chips at a time. All right, so I got half a cup right here. Dumping it in, and Fee's going to be so kind as to measure out the coconut oil for me now while I stir. And then the cashew butter. Hopefully, you got a good view. Oh, the light, yeah, the light is on. With this tripod, I do not have a ring light. So the lighting is not quite as good, so now I'm going to have to buy a ring light for my food videos. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. So that's half a cup of the coconut oil. And the reason why a lot of people use the coconut oil in keto recipes is because it comes to, it gets solid fast. Let's turn that off. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Well. <laughs> Whoa. Yes, it gets solid faster and, yeah, therefore makes it, and plus it tastes good. It makes it really good. I, I remember one time I used to eat one tablespoon of coconut oil a day. Ow, that steam, baby. I know. All right, putting on the glove. That steam is ridiculous. All right. So I used to eat one tablespoon of coconut oil a day because I, I heard it was good for you. And I loved it, and I would try to give it to Fee. Oh. And she thought it was the most disgusting thing on the planet. It gagged me. <laughs> she tried it one time, and she wouldn't try it again. All right, now we're going in with... The wonderful cashew butter. This actually smells really good. It does smell good. It smells, I, I think it smells like peanut butter. It does. It does. Mm -hmm. Alright, this steam is giving me a hot flash. Mm. Yeah. Do you think that's good? Yeah, that's good. Scrape her in there. Oh, yeah. 
We want all that wonderful goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, whoop. What was that? Chocolate chip? Yeah. Chocolate chips are flying. Okay, let me scrape it off. Hold on here. Well, all right, it's about as good as we're going to do. All right, guys. Oh, I hope that's not making that fog up. Sorry if it's making the camera fog up, guys. All oh, right. No, you should have. Get your taste of it out of the container. All right, guys. So I'm going to stir this up. It looks a little liquidy, but believe me, it won't be after we stick it in the fridge. Uh-oh. We have a problemo. All right, guys. I think we're too close. I'm going to go back a little ways. I remember this tripod, this thing likes to, all right. That actually tastes like peanut butter. Does it? Mm -hmm. well, this is going to taste really good, I feel like. All right, it's very liquidy looking, but once we get it in the pan and get it in the freezer, it's going to get solid probably faster than hers will, to tell you the truth, just because of that coconut oil. You want to set my pan over here? I've got my pan ready too. Although this does call for the 9 by 5 Dollar Tree didn't have any, so. Here, I'm going to put it right here so I can kind of get the angle on it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour this. Now, you better step back. Step back. Yeah, I mean, not, not to be a mean, just because I didn't want to burn you. Okay. Step back. Sit back, girl. You probably can't see a thing over there, but... So, wait. It called for what? Half a cup of... No, I mean, like, what can? Oh, 9 by 5. 9 by 5. Um. Let me this. Oh, no, it's hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So, I'm just going to show you... Wait a minute. 9 by 5 is what it called for, but this is not really supposed to be thick anyway. So, that's the deal. It's going to be thin. Oh, you want... Turn it off. <laughs> okay. So, it's, as you can see, it's a very, very liquidy. See that? All right. That's why I, you have to keep it stored in the fridge or freezer. All right, guys. I'm going to get this in the fridge. I'm going to try to get it Here. sitting level. Can I help you? Yeah, you set it in there. I'll record you doing it. There she goes, guys. Here we go. In Don't mind her bear freezer. Okay. Okay. Now, does it look like it's sitting level, and does it look like it's evenly distributed? Alright guys, there it is. We'll be back. We'll be back for a taste test, right? Oh yeah. Okay guys, our fudge has just now been taken out of the freezer. It was in there a good 45 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. 45 minutes. So I know mine's done. Um, we're hoping hers is too. So what we're going to do is, first of all we're going to Actually, I'm going to try to keep this from falling. We are going to go ahead and set this down so you can see both of them. Mm. Yeah, this is the keto one, and that is the all, all good, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm going to need a different knife yeah, for mine. <laughs> do a clean knife. Okay, so I'm going to cut mine into tw um, more pieces than 10 because it's not going to take much of this. So I'm going to go ahead, actually, I'm going to lift it out of the pan. And light right here. You want like a big knife? Yeah. Give me a big knife. Right here. Right there. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Right there it is. Okay. So, I'm going to cut mine in several pieces. Because it, it really does not take much to curb my chocolate or my sweet. Uh-oh, it's breaking. That's, it's like bark. It is like bark. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, this is not cutting well at all. Oh, oh, 
Yeah. Um, All right. Great. Great. Maybe I'll just make like pieces like that just and put them in a container and then just get whatever size I'm in the mood for, right? Mm -hmm. I was hoping to get a pretty, um, oh, picture. Get a picture of that with your camera before, because <laughs> I'm already videoing and I need to get a picture of the before. Oh, watch, I'm gonna get stuff on my white sweater. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, that's perfect actually. Because huh. sometimes I like big ones and sometimes I like the little ones. Okay, so there's mine, and then she's going to cut hers. So slide yours on over this way. You, you got it lifted out? Yeah. Good deal. I'm going to get a little paper off the side. Mm. I think that's going to like it. I think so, too. Absolutely. I wish you could add stuff into your video, like little sound effects. I can. Okay. Yeah. Like what kind of sound effect do I add? I mean, do you want to take them? Yeah, take some pictures. Since I didn't take any. Mmm, that is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, people are going to click on the video as soon as they see a picture of that. Let's see. Come on, do this one. Oh my gosh, I know that's going to be good. It's so soft. I, I thought it was. It really could use some more time in the fridge, I feel like. Well, you just could just cut one piece that should turn uh, off. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right. <laughs> She's going to cut one piece. We're going to try a piece for you guys. Mm. <clears throat> um, you have to tell me about the side effects. Yeah. The side effects? <laughs> Not the sound effects. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's get us back on camera here. Hope that don't pop out. Okay, so we are going to give this a whirl. I've got a piece of the keto fudge, and she's got a piece of the white chocolate caramel pecan. Caramel pecan. <laughs> caramel pecan. Okay, guys, let's try this. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I really like this. Mm hmm. Mmm. That cashew butter. That's really good. I bet that's good. I bet that's the bomb. <laughs> this is the bomb for keto, though. Mmm. 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 That's dead. Mmm. Okay. I'm digging this. That's so, a big bite. Tell me your honest opinion. Coffee. I need a glass of milk. No coffee, actually. Coffee. That was a big bite. <laughs> you know that was good with the sweet and condensed milk in it. Mm -hmm. Pecans. Caramel? I mean, you can't mm. go wrong. Jeez, butter? Oh my gosh. Like. That was really good. Is it like the best stuff like yeah. ever? It's, um, it's crunchy because of the pecans. And then. The caramel is not really gooey. I mean, it's gooey, but it's not like gooey, gooey. And then the fudge is like just soft. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the caramel just like makes it for me. I think it just looks so good on there. Mine, um, like if you're keto and you're wanting some chocolate or something sweet or peanut butter or a Reese's peanut butter cup, this is the box. Go ahead. Try a piece. Go for it. That was a tiny piece. Mm. You can't taste the coconut oil. Mm. You can taste peanut butter and chocolate, right? It does taste like peanut butter. It's good, isn't it? It's that cashew mm -hmm. butter. Yum. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so that is it, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back next week. We are planning on doing some recipes in the air fryer next week. I know it's, it's kind of like air fryer. Like, everybody has air fryers now, but not a whole lot of people have a whole lot of recipes. So we're hoping to do desserts in the air fryer. Yeah, so that should be interesting. So stay tuned if we are going to try our very best to be here next Sunday. So, yeah, this is Sunday. You'll be seeing it Monday morning, though. Or Sunday. No, you'll be seeing it Sunday. I'm crafting. You'll be seeing it Monday morning. I'm confusing myself. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.